Greetings, everybody. Morning, everybody. Joe here. Kevin. Um, okay, so this season's been very, very different in a great way. I'm really, really looking forward to each week with this show because they really keep us on our toes. Yeah. Glad that um, Eleanor staying in, in, in Sydney. I thought we had a really human moment from her last last week where she kind of blew up and it was Simone that stepped in and was like, hey, like, you need to go in there and right. talk to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Her, her natural impulses um, kind of coming through a little bit, which I, I, I'm glad of, right? Yeah. Um, I love the fact that we've had arcs where everyone's kind of grown, even even through resets, right? The, 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 the improved humanity has, has kind of been there, but it's also good with all the characters, including Michael, all six. Um, yeah. with all of them that we kind of see that, you know, people relapse. Um, you, you know, how your, your hard wiring is hard to, to, to fix, to, to repair. Of course. And, and um, they acknowledge that on the show, which is kind of nice. And as far as the story goes, I mean, they see the secret door, the space door. Yeah. <laughs> They're calling it. So uh, we have a lot to get to going forward because um, I'm awful at predicting the show. That's kind of the point of it, you know? Yeah, you're, the, the, the show is, is all you know is you're going to be wrong. The, the show is a perfect misdirect mm-hmm. all the way through. Uh, Michael Schur and the and the writers know what they're doing. Everyone's going to think you're going this way, so let's set them up and then <laughs> go the opposite direction. I've never, they know how to use irony. Never loved being wrong more. Oh, than absolutely. When I watch this show. So it, it's it's perfectly executed. Oh yeah. And the the, the layers. You know, someone on Patreon or on uh, YouTube today pointed out like it's a show about philosophy, which should be a really boring conversation. And it's but, but it's not because <laughs> they they manage to weave it in with really compelling storylines and amazing humor. They don't yeah. skip on the comedy part of no, it. No, they it's don't. Really well done. Right. Before we jump in here, I want to thank all of our Patreon subscribers for being here. I want to give a special shout out to Actuarial Lurker, Balaz Foldez, Chris, Jeff, NJ, Surya, Gundavarapu, and Weird Magic. Thank you so much, guys. We are very, very happy you're here with us. Yes, we are. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. If you mind hitting the like button for us, leave us a comment down below, and please, please, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the content we've coming your way. If you'd like to see a full-length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or watching, please check out a link in the description below to our Patreon page. Mm-hmm. On every show we're watching, including The Good Place, we are at least four episodes ahead on Patreon of where we are on YouTube, so if you get done watching YouTube edits and want to keep going, you can do it there. You will have to sneak and watch along on your own source material. You will only see and hear us for copyright purposes. Yes. We're also watching 30 Rock as a Patreon exclusive. I asked the administration for a one-year sabbatical, and good news, they fired me. I mean, that's fair. (laughs) I I love that. I love that she holds on to grudges. If I slip up and tell her about the universe, it could doom her for eternity. I (laughs) wish I could end things in a way that I knew wouldn't hurt her. Hey, what if I could create a virtual reality simulation where you could practice different breakup scenarios? You can do that? I think so. It's really fun to see Janet and Michael as humans, too. Yeah, their their growth has been so much fun on this show. How do we make them more interesting? <laughs> Macho Man Savage. Macho Man Savage, <laughs> International Airport. <laughs> that swamp is where me, Pillboy, and Donkey Doug used to stand and try and blind pilots with laser pointers. Not mentioned your father once. What do you mean? I talk about Donkey Doug all the time. Is Donkey, Donkey Doug, Doug his, his dad? dad? The man you call Donkey Doug is your father. Sounds like dad's great. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> My whole life, Donkey Dog was always getting in trouble because of some get-rich-quick scheme. If we just give him money, he'll blow it. He's got to feel like he did it himself. Hey, Jason are cool like that. I don't think of him as my son. I think of him as my boy! <laughs> they do look related, don't they? They do. It he can't tell you exactly yeah. what will happen, but it will approximate Simone's reaction to anything you say to her. Put these in your ears. They'll play a tone that will trick your brain into seeing what I've programmed. It's like the Matrix. Yeah. That is like the Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> I know Kung Fu. Whoa. Hey, babe. What do you want to talk about? Go ahead, Chidi. Practice what you want to say to her. Right. Uh, Whatever. Goodbye, Chidi. No, no, no. Wait. Yeah. So... That didn't go great. Got a business proposition for you, Pillboy. <laughs> oh God, Pillboy's here. I'll give Jason. <laughs> yes. So much. To give to you, Double Trouble, the world's first Double energy trouble. drink slash body spray. Nothing. <laughs> oh God. Tell me about it. Double Trouble sounds amazing. Is there <laughs> any way I can try a bunch of different things in a row to see what works? Bing. Sure. If you want to reset, just snap your fingers. <laughs> the, the finger pointing at that, yeah. That? Well, I don't love you anymore. What? Hang on. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm dying. I think we should break up. You do? Yes, I love and respect you very much, but we're heading in different directions. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> Suck it, you doink! Sorry? <laughs> this is Eleanor, you idiot! He's a puppy! His name is Mark. <laughs> you are very bad at this. Well, that's because I don't yeah. actually want to break up with her. What do you need me to break up with her for you? My god, man. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Don't, do don't that. ever do that. There's resentment forever on forever. something like that, yeah. Let's remember the mission. I wonder what's in the pool. Yeah, focus on long-term stability. Listen, I believe in double trouble. Why won't you believe in me? Now this guy's nailing the Jason impression, really isn't he? Is, yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is what'll put your father on the right path. And hey, it's not like he's robbing a bank. Yeah, it's a factory. I steal some energy drinks from an energy drink factory, and then steal some cologne from a cologne factory. So. It's they're just mixing cologne and energy drinks together. That's disgusting. We gotta rob a bottle factory. Three factories. Three factories. Stupid donkey dog. You, you might want to consider the possibility that your father's a lost cause. Oh, there she is. Okay. <laughs> Wish me luck. Whew. Um, we need to break up. I am I am breaking up with you. Why? I can't. It's it's it's, it's complicated, but it's happening. Oh, oh no! That was terrible. Yeah, never say you don't. Yo, I gotta take off because I gotta go do a robbery. I mean, I'm sick. You won't be attending the job with Donkey Duck today. There's been a change of plans. Okay. I hate this. Oh. What if I ruined her? What if I sent her down He's the wrong path so and she ends Every up in the bad place? Yeah. I have to undo what I did. Breakups yeah. never end with both people feeling great. Exactly, she's a badass, there it is, yeah. And her world is bigger than your relationship. Yeah. Always has the best advice, honestly. Like, even she when, does, doesn't she? Sometimes she's wrong. She gets there, though. She's she always gets there. At the end, she's always great, yeah. Boy's not coming. If you're here to tell me an energy drink body spray is a bad idea, I've heard it before from a bank and some doctors. I'm gonna leave Pillboy alone from now on. I'm trying to save him. Oh, dip. This is not the answer. God, Jason. I know I haven't been the best father in the world. I might not have even been in the top five. I want to no. make up for that. <laughs> Thanks, Donkey Dog. Hey, call me Donkey Dad. You seem to know what you want, which is rare for you. You're so weird, man. I think maybe this is for the best. You cannot commit any more crimes and you must help these people as much as you can. The thing is, one of your parents is not technically actually oh my God. dead. Your mother's alive. She faked her own death. Turns out my mom isn't dead, so I need to fly back to America to murder her. I get it. Yeah. Um, okay, so we kind of know where we're going next week. Also, it seems very on brand for... To take their own job. Yeah, they were hot garbage uh, every, every time we've seen them. Now, listen, I would never hang out with Donkey Doug or Pillboy, but watching them on screen, I was delighted the entire time. <laughs> but just lovable criminal morons. Um, Call me Donkey Dad. <laughs> no, that's not stupid. Donkey Doug. Uh, by the way, I, I, I didn't catch the actor in the credits that played him, but. Fantastic. My God. Fantastic. Like, really, really good. He really nailed uh, the Jason impression. I feel like, I don't know, maybe I'm just immature, but I feel like playing that kind of role would be, like, the best. Like, the, the most fun, right? Yeah, I, I feel like Jason uh, has a great time. I, I don't know if his actor, has he been in, have you noticed him in other things? I haven't seen him in a thing. I, have, I don't think I have either. If I, if I have, I didn't, I didn't catch it. Everybody else in at least something. Right, yeah. Um, but no, we kind of, we, we just got an episode like that on uh, Dairy Girls. Where they had like the parents, right? Yeah, uh, perspective when they right. were kids, and, and the, the 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 actors, the actors the, were so good. The yeah, mannerisms of the, the main cast, and I think that you know this is the third season. Obviously, this actor is like, oh, I can do this. I, I've seen the show. I know exactly what right. I'm doing here. I don't know if it'd be easier or harder as an actor to do that, but I know that it would be a lot of fun. It definitely work, right? I yeah. mean, he, he had the the cadence and the mannerisms down perfectly. Yeah. Um, so, uh, it's hard to say, right? Like, it, I, I think a lot of times impression acting is overrated. No, for sure. Um, I, I think a lot of biopics, a lot of actors get a lot of credit yes. for doing impressions. And I'm like, how hard is this really? Well, like, yeah. 
I love Tom Hanks as an actor, right? Yeah. Um, and I know this is probably an unpopular opinion, but I feel like five minutes after you've got Forrest Gump down, it's a cakewalk the entire way through the movie. <laughs> once, you, once you have the character, it's it's pretty much a cakewalk to do that. Sure. I, I really do. I think, <sighs> sure, maybe it's maybe it depends on the scene, but sure. But at the same time, I love Forrest Gump. Uh, no, I I'm not knocking the movie at all. Yeah, or, yeah. or Hanks. Oh, but Hanks I, I, is obviously brilliant. It's not his most. You want performance? What you're saying, right? It's it's, it's not the most, it, you know, it's not the most. Ch- I I felt like um, Saving Private Ryan, Cast he was away. better in. But yeah, yeah, I, yeah, sure. You know? But I, yeah, I was thinking mostly like Saving Private Ryan. I thought mm-hmm. he was his before. He was nominated, should have won. That was the well, he won two back to back. So like, <laughs> right? That was the Roberto Benigni year that well, shouldn't have happened. Stands up on the stand, uh, the yeah. seats and stuff. You know, you know very overrated. And that was solid. <laughs> you can watch it. As, yeah. I I died. I had problems plot wise. With Life it. is beautiful. Yeah, I, I, I. Oh wait, I have seen this. Okay, yeah. anyways, sorry, have seen it. Digression. <laughs> it's really, um, but no, I, I think you're right. That type of impression acting, when you're playing a real life figure or a big character like a Forrest Gump, so much, someone that there's a million hours of footage on. It's, yeah. it's like when you do an Elvis movie. It's like okay, yeah, we need to stop that. R- right, that's what I'm saying. It's like God, is there anybody alive who hasn't done an Elvis impression at some point, or just a biopic in general? Those right. impressions, I feel like, do get tedious. Whereas I, I think so too. Whereas stuff like this or on Dairy Girls, where you're playing a certain character, right? You have to be specific. You sure. have to get their mannerisms down. Watch them and other things, or right. watch them on this show. Like, sure. I think that's really fun. Like, I if, do. And if you're able to pull it off well. What power to you? Because this guy was awesome. No, he, no, this was great because he wasn't really doing Jason, but he had to be man, mannerism wise. He had to he had to be close, right? Face he, yeah, he had to, he had to do a lot of subtlety to to pull off approximating what Jason grew up, with, right? Because right? it's not it's not an impression. It's I I'm, you're, you're playing the big influence on yeah. this character, yeah, right? It, which is a completely it's different daughter. thing, I mean, like, right? Yeah, exactly. Not not the same as Kurt Russell playing Elvis Presley or Jamie Foxx playing Ray Charles, right? right? Sorry, Jamie Foxx is a very good actor, but again, a lot of it a, that. yeah, but it, <laughs> it was an impression. I, I kind of um, those that did uh, Walk Hard was it Al oh. Tao? Uh, he, he produced it, right? Um, not familiar with the director, but uh, yeah, obviously John C. Riley. Right. I feel like that was. I, I love that movie because I was like, I too. yeah, it's really calling out this run of of paint by numbers biopics that we've got yeah hey, but I mean, exactly i can't watch a biopic Rami malik should not have won best actor for, especially after for... walk hard came out like, right yeah i'm with you yeah he should not have I, I think i think Rami malik is a great actor he should not have won an oscar for playing freddie mercury that's our psa for the day yeah sorry so yeah boy are we biopics. way off topic when it comes to uh <laughs> the good place it does tie together in the sense that like you we're know, talking about the dad about though. the performances right. you know um and i think that to, to take it back to the show a little bit the chidi and simone situation I like Simone, and I I do agree. With I love her. Simone. Yeah, I think she's a great character. I do agree with what Eleanor said about you know nobody's going to win in a, in a relationship. In a, that's, in a I was thinking that, right? I was thinking that the whole time. I'm when he's like, I need to you know, purge her in a way that leaves her feeling good, I'm, or break up in a way that leaves her feeling Does good. Like, feel good to break up? That's not a thing that happens. Yeah, no, it's not, and it's like it's something you have to own. Just do it. Right. Yeah. Just it's a it. it's it's a band aid situation. Mm-hmm. You know, ghosting's not the right answer. Having your friend do it is the right answer. Just yank that band aid off. Get dumped. Is and and, and by the way, I'm not I'm not uh, being you know hypocritical here. I ghosted before. Who hasn't? Right. We're all human. <laughs> yeah, <I've, laughs> that shows teach I've, taught us I've, anything. But, but I'm simply saying it wasn't right, and you shouldn't do it. <laughs> all right. We'll catch you in the next one, guys.